Hello, my name is Ederson Oliveira and I will be presenting this video for dnnhere.com on how to set up uh, multiple uh, product options in catalog. And what I mean by multiple product options is, for instance, if we are uh, selling t-shirts, so we have different sizes of t-shirts that are available under the same product. Or if we are uh, selling... Um, if we're selling fabric, for instance, so we have different materials, different colors. So again, under the same product, you have multiple options. So here is the development site that we will be working on. This is a live site that I want to show what exactly we, we need to do here. We need to create for the same product. Here's the product. This is not a .NET site, but just an example. We have multiple options for the same product. In this, in this case, we have different sizes, different Weights. Okay, so let's go to our development site and let's log in as you can. You can log in either as host or admin. Doesn't matter. So let's enter the log information. Okay, so now you're here in the back end. I'm going to store, and this store has just three products. One of the products is already set up the way we want it to be which is a drop down with multiple options, but the other two are not yet. So we have to do the same for the next product. So let's click on the product and let's go to edit this product. Now under, uh, again, this is catalog. So when you are looking at the, the, the product from, from uh, the editing point of view, you go to the attributes tab at the top and my rule is already here, but I'm going to create uh, another one just to show, just to show you guys uh, how how we go about that. So let's create a new one uh, under text data entry forms. Let's create an, uh, a new one here. Let's create a. Let's click on create new. So catalog um, is just spreading things out quite a lot here. Those are the the, uh, the field names, and on the other side of the screen are the the actual field entry. So let's call this uh, jerky size and pricing number two, just to differentiate from the initial one. Okay, so this is just the name, the title, not much. The name is just internal. The title will show up in the front end. Now the 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 key thing the key thing is under well, description HTML, I'm going to leave it empty. The key is really under uh, selections, which is this big field here. So this is where we're going to set up the different options. And uh, Catalog brings uh, a couple of examples under under its note here. You can have a look at this and to see more details, but I'm going to skip these notes. Again, it's a bit hard to read it right now. And I'm going to set up my my uh, options for this product in in this in this field. So the first option that we have is for two ounces. Uh, this is the standard pricing, so I'm not going to make it equal to anything. Uh, so this is just a standard price. Now the second option is where the pricing will start to differentiate. It's uh, it's four ounces, and this is the total price. But what this this really means is that this uh, option is equal to the original pricing, which is already set up under the product as a regular pricing, plus one. So again, this option here will cost four nine nine plus one five nine nine. So this is the second option. The third option will be and again each option will be in a separate line you just press enter so the second the third option is ten dollars ninety nine cents so it's uh, the original pricing plus six dollars okay and the last option will be sixteen ounces so nineteen dollars again this plus means get the original price and add $15, okay? And again, you can see a lot more uh, examples under the example uh, note, 
but this is basically how we go about uh, creating multiple options for a product. Now, let's just have a look at some additional fields here. Uh, if we want to have a, a, a selection uh, pre-selected, you can set it here. I want to have the first one. I want it to be required, option, or fixed. In my case, I want to be. I want it to be required. The next one, the next field is about repeat columns. Well, I'll just keep in one column. I can have this control in many different ways. I can have drop downs, radio box, check boxes. Again, I can choose any any one of those options, and I'll leave at that. Okay, let's click add. Okay, so now, now this was the original one that, I, that was created before, and I have created this new one. Now, once this is done for the first time, if we want to keep applying the same rule to other products, you just come, open the product, come to the attributes of that product, select the, the, the variety, the pricing model uh, that you're gonna, you want to apply, click the, the, the pricing model, and click Assign. So this price model will be assigned to this product. Now, if we go back to the side to to the to the product itself under store. See, now we have the, the same variety, the same options as we had before on the original on the on the first product. Now Take care of the last product again. Let's just go to the product. The rule is already set. It, it, it is the same rule that we, we want to apply here because it's the same pricing structure. It's just a different product. Let's go to edit product under attributes. Let's assign the one that we want to this product. Again, we just need to set up this once and let's just, just to avoid confusion, let's delete the one that I have created just to show you show you guys. So let me delete this one. We don't want duplication. Perfect. So let's go back to the store. Let's have a, a last look at it. Last product we should have. Okay, here it goes. The same rules, the same rules applied. So again, we have applied uh, a product variety to each one of those uh, products without creating multiple products. We have applied uh, some rules that will create multiple options for the same product in catalog. Okay, thank you very much. That's it for now. Bye.